Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I have a stick. And we're playing Madden 20, the Dolphamite Saga. <laughs> QB1, face of the franchise. The Dolphamite Saga. The do yeah, the, sub the, the undertitle, the sublet. <laughs> Is the dynamite saga. I would have preferred if it was the trilogy, but when we get to like level seven, eight, nine, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But I'm a big fan and proponent of the word trilogy. Yeah, mm. dude, I like trilogies. It just Everybody rolls off the, the beak. What's your favorite trilogy of all time? Wow. Uh I don't know, Jonas. Wow, that's a tough question. Uh Wow. What trilogies are there? We gotta name off some trilogies okay. first, They're, man. I'm bad. Well, at I wanna that. say Star Wars was a trilogy. It started yeah. as a trilogy. Yeah, but I don't there's, care. There's three sets of Star Wars trilogies, kind of. I don't care for Star yeah, Wars. Uh there is Indiana Jones trilogy. No, I'm there good. is Oh my god, the same play work. Just shove them off. There is a Yeah, exactly. Well, there's a Back to the Future trilogy. Well, that's probably up there. That's like one of my, except for the third one. Like, if the third one was like a little better, it would like. Yeah, but the first and the second the one were really good. The first two were good. so good, the third one could literally be a man standing in a room just like shouting for an hour, and I'd be like, yeah, pretty good trilogy. <laughs> You know? The third one is not that bad, dude. Dude, I, like I've seen the first two like probably fifty times each, and the third one I think I've seen like three times. Yeah, like that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably right about there with you. What <laughs> other what other trilogies we got? Look, I can I can go. Uh, that. Matrix trilogy. Yeah, but come on, the first one was good. And the then others, what? Ooh, you're talking about one bad one. With, exactly. With, uh, with Back to the Future, we're talking two bad ones. Bro. Those last two were like. All right, so movie trilogies. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, if well, you can also go with like series. Yeah, we'll do the speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. Yeah, I guess I could go with like music, something like that. Well, yeah, because like you're looking at like Jason and Freddy movies. Those are like they used to be a trilogy, but now there's like a billion. Ooh, The Hobbit. Oh, 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 yeah, The Hobbit. Dude, as far as quality of movies, that's probably the best trilogy ever. But I just don't care for those movies. Ooh, not my thing. The Godfather. That's one of those same things like people pretend the third one never existed. <laughs> people say the second one's the best one, and the, fir the third one, they're like, there's a third one? Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. There's not a whole lot that I would even know. Like, I'm looking here. Okay. And, yeah, there's not even a whole lot of them that I would know enough about to... Uh, Throw some of them out there. Somebody listening to me. All right, I'm going to the, to the website here. Because yeah, if there's, I mean, like, if they're, like, from the 40s, no? That's, the, that's the thing. It's like the Alfred Hitchcock black and white movie hour trilogy. All right, so Clerks, uh, they're saying Clerks Mall Rats chasing Amy. That's not a trilogy, because there's Clerks 1 and Clerks 2. That can't be a trilogy. <laughs> that's what the, that's well, what <laughs> that say has already been discredited. <laughs> How are you going to put three movies in a trilogy when one of the movies has a sequel? Uh, speaking of which, man, new Jay and Silent Bob coming out. Did you see that? It's supposed to, yeah. yeah. They all look very mad. They well, Jay does. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Smith looks crazy it's like, skinny. <laughs> it's like Jay looks like a meth head and... And Kevin Smith looks like he's bulimic. Like he does, he lost all that weight. He's all emaciated. Ton of weight, a ton of weight. A ton. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Let's find another page. I that am dude, our... Hannibal, Silence of the Lambs, oh, Hannibal, yeah, yeah, okay. and Red Dragon. Yeah, yeah, those are all pretty good movies. I've never. Like, they're not my style. They're, they're like too dry. I've never seen any of them. Any? No. You never saw Silence of the Lambs? Mm, I've seen parts of it. I've seen the. Put the lotion on the skin, or else it gets the hose again. Oh, that's an ad movie. Yeah. No. Mm. Yeah, that's Buffalo Bill. No, it wasn't. Yeah, that's a good, that movie's really good. 
Uh, Red Dragon and, uh, I hate middle game name, but Hannibal, they're okay, they're just kind of slow. Red Dragon's kind of slow. Aren't they all just like remakes of the same thing? No, it's all a continuation of a story. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, like Hannibal Lecter gets out of jail. Through a glass, darkly, winter light, and the silence from 1961, 1960. Why'd you even put that in You said name said some of them all. dude. Pre us is too old. All right, the Mission Impossible series with. <laughs> That's like nine now. <laughs> I've never seen any of them. Again. You never saw any of the Tom Cruise not Mission one, Impossible? Not one. I mean, they're, they're not bad. Yeah, I've heard they're all right. <laughs> they're not bad. All right. Uh, Night of Living Dead, Non Living Dead, the Day of the Dead. I have seen, I've only seen the one. That Came out like in the that land of the dead. They, or the remake, dude. The remake of Day of the Dead they did, like with Ving, with Ving Rhames in it, and they're in the mall. That was actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, like there was a pregnant lady who gave birth to a zombie baby in it. Oh, you know, I think I have seen that. Yeah, that was actually a really good movie. I mean, it was cheesy because it's a zombie flick, but it was good. Yeah, yeah. Big Rams. I feel like I've seen all of those. Here's one you might not even know. Apparently, there was a movie called El Mar Mariachi in 1992. Oh, yeah. El Mariachi, Desperado, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Those are pretty good. Yeah, dude. Once El Mariachi's not that great, but Desperado and Once Upon a Time in Mexico, quality yeah. movies. Yeah, I like Once Upon a Time in Mexico. That's one that's Johnny Depp. Yes. Yeah. I've, and, he, and he, like, cut his eyes out or something. He's, like, blind. I keep getting that movie, like, mixed up with the Julia Roberts Brad Pitt movie, The Mexican. <laughs> Very different movies. I know, but I really <laughs> like both of those I movies. I really like both. I've never even seen The Mexican. What happens in that? It's such a good movie. Is it it's a romantic comedy? A little or bit. A romantic drama, I guess. A little mean. bit. Not James funny. James Gandolfini's in it, and he plays a homosexual. It's freaking nuts, dude. It's such a good movie, though. I liked it. That, that, like, El Mar that's one of those trilogies where the other two were so good. El Mariachi was just old. It was before Robert Rodriguez yeah, yeah, got yeah, famous. Yeah, yeah. So it's not... They actually... I feel like I've seen that as well. I feel like they made another one that was basically a remake of El Mariachi. I don't know. Anyways. The girl with the dragon tattoo, the girl who played with fire, and the girl who kicked the horn. Yeah, I've never seen it. I, I don't know. They're, they're about a girl who does it. <laughs> Blade, Blade 2 oh, and Blade the Trilogy. Blade Trilogy. How do we even forget? Because it's so good. The, the opening scene of Blade 2 is probably one of the best scenes ever. The rave where like, the yeah. blood starts spraying down. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce. Those bounce. are actually really good movies, bounce, dude. Bounce. And they're just dancing and the blood starts spraying on them. But uh, oh, they're supposed to be redoing Blade too. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, Jonas, and here's your favorite. Oh, I know you're a big Mick Moranis fan. Oh God, honey, I shrunk the kids. The honey. money, the Mighty Ducks, D two, the Mighty Ducks, and D three. The Mighty Ducks. <laughs> I forgot about those. Emilio Estevez, dude, he's my jam. Yeah, either way, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Mick Moranis and Emilio Estevez yeah, are the same. The same guy. Uh, all powers, of course. Oh, I forgot they had a trip. Yeah, that one, I, I didn't really care for those. But. They don't seem like they'd be up your alley, but nah, I think well, they're Heather close. Heather Graham's good because she's smoking. Yeah, yeah. Beyonce was in those movies. It's oh, yeah, crazy. the third one. Yeah. She had the big afro. Yeah, she was hot as hell in that yeah. movie. She could have got it. Yeah. Uh, There's a Mad Max yeah. trilogy. Oh, yeah. All the way up to Beyond the Thunderdome. Yeah, they're... I've never seen any of those. I've seen the Beyond Thunderdome because Tina Turner used to be on the HBO all the time. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, who, who runs Ball to Town? That's the boss. I don't know it at all. I've never seen any of them. Well, that's the only one I've watched a lot. Is that one. There's an Internal Affairs trilogy. Oh, there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy. Now, absolutely. And a Terminator trilogy. There's actually like a lot of them. But yeah, the original was the three. T3 Ooh. was not very good. Yeah, but T1 and T2 T1 are was super good. T2 good. is like really good. That's kind of like the whole uh, Back to the Future yeah, right. incident. Where Dude, like the, the third first one might as well not even exist. <laughs> that, that girl Terminator, Arnold wasn't even in it except for the end. He's oh. like, he turned his head. Yeah, but that movie wasn't like... Yeah, see, it is. It's totally the black, back, black, the black to the, the black sheep of the three. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's the Back to the Future uh, principle. The where first two are so good, you have to make it a good trilogy. Yeah, where like the third one is not as good, but it's not. 
so bad. Yeah, it really could have been anything. Jesus, Jones, we're stomping a mud hole in these Yeah, that's boys. cool, man. We got the power of the trilogies on our side today. X-Men, X2, and oh, X-Men. Yeah. Those original three were bad, though. They are all bad. All of the X-Men movies have always the, been bad. The, the first one with the, with uh, James McElroy as uh, Professor X, the very first one oh, okay. they redid yeah. with Jennifer Lawrence was in it as the yeah, blue girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one wasn't bad, but that's the only one. All the other ones are trash. Yeah, even Dark Phoenix that just came out a little while ago, oh, no, which was like the epitome of awful. Yeah. That was supposed to be their uh, end game, and it was yeah. like the worst one of all of them. Yeah, nobody saw it. Yeah, dude, because uh, it was uh, bad. Police squad, naked gun, naked gun, for oh, those are great movies, dude. See, you would like that bull crap. It was naked gun, wait, but even police, it was naked gun, naked gun two and a half, and naked gun 33 and a third. Yeah. Garbage movies, but fun. No, I was, uh, Slapstick. Leslie Nielsen. I was, yeah, I know, right? I was watching, uh, what was it angry video game nerd and he uh -huh. does he does like movie reviews and ish now okay and he was doing airplane oh i haven't seen that one very much but yeah. that one's goofy too it is goofy but he was like there's this one joke in the movie that i just do not understand and it's like he's in the cockpit and he's got it's it's leslie nielsen and he's got like a small child and he's showing him like like a boy and he's showing him how the mechanics work and everything yeah and he asks him a question and he's like uh you ever flown a plane before and the kid's like no i've never flown a plane and then he looks over at him he's like you ever seen a grown man naked and <laughs> <laughs> and they played it and i'm like what the hell kind of, not a, what kind of joke is that <laughs> <laughs> but in the like eighties, I guess it was. Just, <laughs> he's he's like, ha -ha, he looks at a penis. It's funny. <laughs> oh, he's just kidding. Frank is on fire, dude. Oh, man, that's what you get for doubting OVO, Jonas. Yeah, dude, I guess so. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm, like, I, I think I'm. Surely he's like, don't call me. Sure. Oh, scream. Oh yeah, that was like, but that was only one of those. Was good. Two and three were both garbage. <laughs> I've never seen any of them. And Spider Man. You ever saw the first uh, scream? Uh, probably the first one, but I definitely remember, uh, not your scary movie. The Oh, yeah, the, the original scary movie was great. Yeah, yeah this, no, not that, the yeah. satirical one. Yeah, scary movie was the sat the satire of all of them <laughs> okay, together. Okay, yeah, yeah, That yeah, was yeah. really good, too. Yeah. That's a trilogy, too, but, like, the first one was yeah. good. The rest of them were trash! Now that you mention it, that is a series. Yeah, it was, uh, dude, the three Spider-Mans with Tobey Maguire, the third one was garbage again. The first two were really good. They're the only Super Home movies I really liked for a very long time. I think I found it, Jonas. Uh-oh, what is it? The Die, the Die Hard series. Oh! That might, that might win. Even, that might win. Even the third one with is, Samuel L. wasn't that great, but it was so good. <laughs> I don't even feel like I have to look any further. Like, okay, they made as four as and they made they're making five or they got a little carried away. But if you go purely off the first three, yeah, Die Hard one is so good. Two was a little weird at the airport and like the all that. Yeah, but even still, three dude, they brought Carl Winslow back. Yeah. Yeah. Then they put Sam Yell in the last one. Yeah. And now those that's a, a trilogy I've definitely seen all three movies. I've even seen like the the fours and fives and sixes. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen like I will watch every John McClane movie ever. Yeah. He could be 190, and I'd be like, you know what? Yeah. Bruce Bruce Willie Bruce, Bruce Willie Bruce, <laughs> Bruce Willie. <laughs> Really won our hearts in the 90s, man. Dude, he did. He really did, man. He went from, like, moonlighting TV show to diehard John yeah. McClane. What a difference. So there you go. There's me That's and it. Jonas. <laughs> Die See, I, if it isn't Back to the Future, it's Die Hard. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Die Hard is... Oh, no! Dude, Die Hard 1 is so good. An honorable mention for the Terminator series yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh I would love to keep going with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Good thing you hit Die Hard right before it died. I know, right? So I guess we came to our conclusion. <laughs> hey, you saved the best for last, friend. This segment's over. Uh, <laughs>
believe that the game is <laughs> over. I mean, it's definitely the over. The entire game is but us. No, you literally said something about trilogies when the game started, and we've been talking about trilogies. Uh, yeah. Oh, this this game is definitely over. I've been watching, and it is a mud hole stomping. Oh yeah, we even got a rushing touchdown. So oh yeah, I saw. Fletcher Cox is gonna. <laughs> To sleep. Fletcher. Dude, hard. I want to like watch that movie now. Who names himself Fletcher? So the Dolphins have I wouldn't mind watching Die Hard. I gotta see that Dave uh, Chappelle. If I'm watching anything, that's the next thing I gotta watch. Oh, oh God! I hit the wrong button. I hate when you're back there. there. It forces it throws, it even if you don't want to. I was trying We're to still throw in the football here. Obviously, yeah, that Dave Chappelle was the clock. good. That's a bad thing. It feels to me like they're just Jonas keeping Bruce, them honest on defense. So. Maybe you laugh a lot. Very appropriate things because that's what I laugh at. Appropriate things. Mm, I think that's what we all laugh at, man. That's like the basis of comedy. It has to be a little yeah, inappropriate. Yeah, just, just being weird. Oh, you're gonna slow clap. Oh, a little show off. I'm not gonna lie though. I did watch one comic. I can't remember his name or who he was or why he was performing, but he was like strictly clean. Anything about him? He was just strictly clean comic. No comic. No. Oh, you see you shrug him I did. I did. Oh! I didn't even throw it to Drake. He just ran over there and took it and ran with it. And we'll just deny that. Yeah, we'll decline that one. Great. And he was clean and what? He sucked. Yeah, he no, he was he was actually pretty good, man. It's amazing that clean guys can be funny. I mean, look at us. We're clean and we're hilarious. Yeah, like he was he was performing at like seriously, he was performing at like a Christian academy and there was like a bunch of like parents there with their like kids and stuff and he was like telling jokes to the children and it was like legit funny. I don't know. But it's possible. It's hard, man. Yeah, it's way easier just to be like, uh, black people shouldn't. <laughs> black people shouldn't get married. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> there's, a, there's a joke in there somewhere. I'm sure. <laughs> yes. You were 16 for 20, six touchdowns and 498 yards. Heck yeah. Drake had 111. He didn't suck it up this time. And uh, six touchdowns to five different receivers. Look at us being. It's like every, every game. Every game. You're spreading the wealth. You don't have a favorite. You like the guy who scores. Who's that, Jonas? Juju Smith-Schuster. Oh, okay. No, it's right there on the screen. Well, you know what I found out about him, by the way? They were his, talking about his, him during the game this week. His name is not really Juju. Well, yeah. But his uh, Smith is his birth father's name, and Schuster is his stepfather's name, and he hyphenated them. And yeah. his a real name is Josh. Oh, look at that. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, <laughs> so if he wouldn't have went by a nickname and done that, he would have been Josh Smith. <laughs> but now he's Juju Smith Schuster, and he has a football player name, and he wins. Uh, well, you know what? I kind of, I kind of respect that because, like, uh, I'm assuming that like his biological father might have like passed away or something. Yeah, or he just respected his stepfather enough that he was like, "Dang, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, oh, performance review time, TNT. <laughs> what am I concerned or something? He's gonna be like, "You aren't doing good enough." <laughs> Go, no, bring it up. I want to hear what he's got to say. Great win this week. When you get this far in the season, everyone's exhausted. Teams start to buckle, and wins can be hard. But you know, TNT, you've been the cornerstone of the offense this year. You've got a special arm, and we've relied on it all season. These next four weeks will define our team. We've played pretty well so far, and we're poised for a playoff push. God, that's a lot of peas. Focus on the future or reflect on your record? Uh, focus on the future. Boom. You oh. say, I'm not interested in what we've done over the last 12 weeks. I'm worried about finishing the season on the highest note possible. You're right. Our record doesn't really matter because the goal is the same no matter what. We need to play hard, and we need to win the rest of our games. Let's finish strong, okay? Sounds you good You don't get to anything, me. nothing. That's all right. All right. So, what? oh, here comes this guy. He's all like, all right, so <laughs> I'm still happy with the game. What <laughs> happened was. Yeah, what happened was I feel like better next, better, I feel like the best team lost, if I'm being honest, but whatever. 
Our next matchup is going to be different. You don't play him more than once. Ever. I know, right? Let's go sit down. A thousand points. And the offensive line got 250. Oh, great. They need boom, it, boom. man. Oh, they we're going to upgrade it. your friend. They need Field it. Field general, strong arm, improviser, put, put, put a scrambler in there, man. I feel like we need to get that scrambler up, man. Sure. I've seen I've seen that stuff help you out in the game. Yeah, man. That one, dude, that guy came at you. You literally just threw him you to the like, ground. No, sir. You did, you did he like the awesome. wax on, wax yeah, he off. Yeah, was like, oh, Daniel's son. All right. And then uh, we're going to advance <laughs> the week over here. See what the next boy has to say. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we only got four games left. We're in the playoffs, man. Mm. Man, you're going to hopefully win something. All right, there we go. And that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. While you're at it, check out our playlist page. There's so much content that we've done just for you. If you think that's not true, you're wrong. But for Jonas... And TNT Dynamite... We are... Uh -huh.